Welcome to the Adapa Tools walkthrough video. Today we'll show you how to use the Adapa Tools plugin for Rhino 3D. Adapa Tools helps users prepare the design files before they are sent to the adaptive mold for production. With this plugin, it is easy to verify the geometrical and theoretical tolerances of production for any or all of the chosen panels. Adapa Tools comes loaded with a bunch of commands and functions. Let's take a look at them one by one. Let's start with the preparation of a new panel for production. You can create a new panel by selecting the At Create Panels command and by choosing an individual panel from the larger shape. You can then see the preview of the panel on the screen. The upward pointing white arrow on the panel indicates that that side would be facing the surface of the mold. The At Create Panels command also comes with the option to choose the orientation plane, the placement and the optimization weights of the panel. The orientation plane option allows the user to choose the orientation of the plane in which the panel is going to be made. The placement option allows the user to align the panel with any one of the corners of the mold. And the optimization weights option allows the user to change the default shape settings for the mold in order to make manual compensations that will allow the panel to be shaped correctly. But changing these settings could potentially affect a lot of the other default settings, which is not desirable. Once you are satisfied with all the changes, you can press the Enter key to validate the panel. This triggers the plugin to check the panel for discrepancies. And if the panel is error-free, the edges of the panel will turn green. If you click on the validated panel, you'll get to see the contextual view of how that panel will take shape on top of the mold. This is quite useful to verify that the mold can take the desired shape. Once you're satisfied with how your output is going to look like, you can export the panel using the at export panel command. If the panels are not named at the time of exporting, the plugin will automatically assign them numbers for names. Each final output folder will contain a CSV file with the actuator positions and an LAS file that contains the projection information for the edges. Now that we have the at create panels command out of the way, let's look at some of the other available commands. The shape generated by Rhino 3D is just a preview and is not editable by default. It is only when a panel is baked into the mold layer that it becomes editable. This is where we use the at bake mold command. This command groups or combines the mold and panel in such a way that the reference to the laser projector's calibration is not disturbed even when the coordinates of the one point in the baked geometry is extracted and inputted as is into the projector. This also makes the files editable, should you need to adjust them later. Next up is the at display panels command. This allows you to go back and take a look at all the panels you have generated thus far. The at delete panels command deletes all the panels that you choose. The at rename panels command allows you to rename individual panels. The Add Decorate Panels option allows you to add individual curves as projections. It also allows you to add decorative inserts into the panel design. When a user installs the Adapa Tools plugin, it doesn't come with any preloaded mold profiles. The Add Mold Profiles command lets users manually import mold profiles into the plugin. The Add Analyze Panels command allows users to analyze the panels and output panel parameters like length, width, height, and curvature of the panels as a spreadsheet. This helps users determine if the panel size conforms to the size of the mold. This command is especially useful when working with panels at various curvatures and sizes. And last but not least, the at laser projection command lets the user display, rename, or remove the existing projections. So that was a quick walkthrough of the Adapa Tools plugin for Rhino 3D. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to share them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.